Johnny Mai to Casey's B Room, which in our language is hello and welcome. So, once again, it's time for a beer review. We're going to go for a bit of redemption from Rusty Penny as I didn't quite enjoy their um, chocolate porter that they bought out for Easter. It's not that it's a bad beer because no beer is bad, but just a bit too sweet and I reckon you could probably have one at Easter and then be happy and move on to something else but so we're going to try this one which is their coffee coconut pale ale uh, I don't know if I've really talked about Rusty Penny before probably have but Matt and Mark started I think brewing in 2007 they moved into the new place Corrine Avenue around 2017 I think 2018 so they're in Penrith, Corrine Avenue. Go there, have a look. They do a good barbecue. They've got like about 20 beers on tap. They've got pale ales, they've got West Coast IPAs, they've got New England IPAs, they've got ciders, they've got ginger beer, they've got lagers, pilsners, seltzers. They've got everything to make you happy. So, like I said, they're going to do uh, try this coffee coconut pale ale at 5.8%. See the artwork on the can, it's a bit of a tag. I think it says Rusty Penny or Rusty. Uh, on the back of the can, it just says Made in Australia, Rusty Penny Brewery, using local imported ingredients. Not much else to talk about on the actual can. Uh, so let's get the glass out and we'll do the pour. That's what we're here for. So I imagine it's going to be slightly hazy. Maybe not. There we have it. Beautiful pale straw colour, nice white froth. Just take a photo of this. There we go. Let's have a smell. Oh yeah, you can smell that coffee. Strong tones of coffee. Can't really smell the coconut at the moment. We'll give it a taste and see what she's like, eh? Cheers. Oh yeah, that's like a strong es espresso, that is. So, straight away, coffee. Burnt flavors, uh, a slight hint of coconut and bitterness. So that's quite enjoyable. Yeah, so you can really taste those roasted coffee beans. Um, then you get that coconut and the bitterness, um, I like it. That's pretty cool actually on a pretty miserable, it always seems to be miserable lately, miserable 16 degrees here in Blacksland. Um, yeah, that's, this is quite enjoyable. Nice lacing there you can see from the two mouthfuls I've had. That's the color of it. Slight haze. A little bit of carbonation. It is nice and smooth as it goes um, over the top of your tongue. Yeah, that's that is nice. Um, if you love a coffee, this would be the one for you. Uh, Crack one of these open first thing in the morning before you get in the car and go off to work. There's your coffee. Um, 
As long as you're not over the limit, I guess. 5.8, what's that? 1 point... Is it 1.8 standard drinks? So, uh, yep, you can have one of these and you'll be still under the limit. So, grab a coffee in the morning um, and off you go. Happy as Larry, off to work. give it a rating I'll give it a send it so that'll be about a 4.19863 let's see if we got that right a little replay uh, yeah so that's bloody send it for sure 5.8 you could drink them to the cows come home have six of those and then I reckon you're ready to get onto a burbs. So that's the um, that's tonight's review. Nice short and sweet. Nice coffee and coconutty for you. Uh, hopefully probably Monday, Tuesday, or yeah, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm gonna uh, be doing a review from Murray's farm up at Nelson's Bay, so we're gonna go there, check out the brewery there, um, try a couple of beers, buy a couple of beers. So that's coming up soon. Uh, and as usual, till next time, send it. Faith has been restored in Rusty Penny.